Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash, and welcome back to another video. Now, this time I decided to do a little quick reaction video, because... So, before I get started, I'm going to let you know that today is Mario Day. And also, I did tell you that yesterday, when I was making videos, I was going to Dallas, and... I got back from my trip about, like, a couple of hours ago. It was a fun little trip. Definitely was lots of fun. It'll be more. It'll be fun tomorrow as well because we're going to have some little CeCe's pizza and then we're going to be having a little bit of a free day in class tomorrow because Mithlothian will be out tomorrow. So, And the Walk Statue students will be kind of getting out of school early So while we have a full day regular schedule. But anyway, it should be fun tomorrow and then we're out for spring break next week. So we got to enjoy it while we can, you know. But anyway, because today is also Mario Day, which I made sure to write it on my calendar so I wouldn't forget today. I thought that maybe it'd be a cool idea to do something special for Mario Day. So you probably may remember last year. Maybe for those of you that didn't see it last year, maybe you don't remember. But when I celebrated Mario Day last year, I decided to react to some videos based off Mario on YouTube. And I reacted to the Whole Tale Mario bloopers. And then I checked out YouTubers playing or reacting to a Super Mario Maker. That was pretty good. I thought maybe I'd do something different this time around. So we've already seen that. But how about... Hold on, let me get something. I'm back, sorry. I'm a little tired from my trip. But anyway, I thought maybe I'd do something different to celebrate Mario Day this year. And also, you probably can see I have a picture of Mario behind me. So like I said, it's Mario Day today, March 10th. Which makes sense because, you know, for the first three letters in the word March, you know, you got M-A-R. And if you use the number 10, it's almost like the I and O standing for Mario. So I can see why they made that Mario Day. And... It's pretty ironic, like I said, there's a picture of Mario back there, that's a picture of him from Super Mario Sluggers for the Wii, pretty good game. But anyway, before I, so I'll, basically, I thought maybe this would be better to do, so, I was originally going to play every single Mario game that I currently have on the, uh, on, like, certain systems I got, because I got the Wii U and the Nintendo Switch and Nintendo GameCube, I thought maybe I'd play every single Mario game I got, but that would be kind of stressful to do, because I have way too many Mario games, but... Instead, I'm going to be, this probably might even be better, actually. I'm going to look at the evolution of Mario games, of Super Mario, should I say. Basically, the evolution of Super Mario. So, basically, the evolution of him in video games, kind of technically, I guess you could say. So, I think this would be better. There was another one called Evolution of Him in Video Games, or Mario Games, but I thought this would be better because... Apparently this one, because the other one just only refers to all the Mario games that are based off him, you know, titled after him. But I thought maybe it'd be better to go all the way back in 1981 for when he made his official debut, you know what I mean? Even though it wasn't, his the game was not titled after him, but I thought maybe it'd be better to do the evolution of Super Mario, to where it goes back to the very, very beginning from when he made his debut to where he currently stands. Well, it says 2021, but close enough, you know, 2022 is just barely new, so, you know... To where he currently stands right now, you know what I'm saying? And this is going to be a very long video because this is approximately 30 minutes long. So this is going to be a very long video. The other one's only 15 minutes, which probably is a little bit better. But I thought this one would be better to go for the evolution of Mario. So I'm going to check this one out because this one's kind of better because, you know, it talks about the evolution of him in history. So I thought it'd be pretty cool if I just showed you that little picture of Mario behind me. And I'm going to... Dang it. <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, I'm good. Hold on. Fix my camera. I dropped it. But anyway, so I thought maybe it'd be cool to go through the evolution of Mario. Now, hopefully this video isn't copyrighted. I sure hope it's not. I don't think it should be because it's going to have video game footages from certain games. So hopefully this is not a copyrighted video. I'm hoping for the best it's not. It's by Evolution Error as well. This is the YouTuber who uploaded the video. I hope for the best this isn't copyrighted, because if it is, I'll have to take the video off my channel and delete it and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just hope for the best this isn't copyrighted. But I thought this would be a pretty fun way to celebrate Mario Day just by looking at the evolution of him in video games, you know? Because it'd be cool, you know, to find out about the evolution of how time has progressed since his debut and then to all the way to where it starts right now, you know what I mean? So it's pretty crazy, and Mario's had a lot of history of appearing in video games, starring in video games, and even making cameos, so he has a... A history of games, you know what I'm saying? He's got quite the history. So it's pretty cool stuff, you know? And there's something on my knee. Hold on, be right back. Okay, I'm back, sorry. Apparently there was something stuck in my knee. I don't know, maybe because I rode around the floor too much when I was scooping on my knees and apparently something got into my leg and it hurt. 
felt like a wasp stain, but it was just something I just pulled it out with tweezers, and here I am. So, I'm good now, but anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at the evolution of Super Mario, or whatever you want to call him. Basically, this is the, like I said, evolution of Mario, of him making appearances in video games starring his own, and maybe cameo appearances in video games he's made, or games that he's appeared in that are not based off of him, I don't know. Because obviously this one dates back to 1981, which was his debut, but like I said, the, that game, which you, you already know what it is, but I'm not going to say it yet until we see it, but you already know what game it was he debuted in, and you know, he, he wasn't the, well, he was the star of the, the game because he had to play as him, but you know, the game wasn't named after him, you know what I'm saying, but anyway, let's get this out of the way. I hope for the best this video is not copyrighted, I hope not, because if it is, and if I get warned about it, I'm just going to have to just go ahead and just delete this video, like I said, because I can't risk this, you know. So let's hope for the best this video is not copyrighted, and let's check out the evolution of Mario to celebrate Mario Day. So happy Mario Day, everybody, and let's do this. <clears throat> so like John Cena and Triple H always say, your time is up, my time is now, it's time to play the game. Let's go ahead and do this, shall we? The evolution of Super Mario, every game ever, from 1981 to 2021, which is kind of still currently right now, because he hasn't had any new games in 2022 yet, so it's still kind of currently, you know what I mean? But... Anyway, let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one, let's go. And I don't know if I should turn the volume down as well for like when it gives me the games, you know, and maybe so that way I don't get copyrighted for that either, because like I said. But anyway, let me read what that says. Super Mario is a platform game series created by Nintendo, alternative, alternatively called the Super Mario Brothers, yeah. I didn't actually know that. I didn't know it was really it was originally just called it was really just called Super Mario, but then obviously they alternately called it the Super Mario Bros. That's pretty cool. Interesting to know. Can't go wrong with the classic Mario theme song, even if it's remixed. His debut, as I said, Donkey Kong 1981. Like I said, he is the star of the game, even though the game's not named after him, but he is the star of the game. You play as him to rescue uh, Pauline, whatever her name is, the original princess, I thought that was Princess Peach, even though she kind of looks like Princess Peach, but it's not really her. Peach, it's Pauline, I think that's her name, yeah, Pauline, the original princess, but yeah, so that's his debut game, we all know that, 1981 with Donkey Kong, and I have to believe this was his very first game named after him as well, uh, let me read what that says, hold on. I have to believe this was the very first game that he starred in, like this was his first official video game, you know, like this is the game that was named after him that he starred in, uh, Mario Brothers 1983, classic, never played that version of it, but still classic, so this is his official first video game, if I'm not mistaken, I have to believe this was his very first official video game. Actually, you know what, maybe I might need to move the video over here so that way you can see the titles, because apparently it also shows you the gaming systems and the, uh, because it also shows you, because in some of them it also kind of shows you the video games and the game titles. You saw there was a game title up there, so maybe I should move the video down here so you can see it. I just thought I'd go back to see if there was anything up there that I maybe blocked, but it's okay. So yeah, there we go. Classic stuff, though. So like I said, I have to believe this was his very first official video game, I think. Mario, you know, his solo video game, you know what I mean? Oh wow, the crabs were originally split in half. Never heard of this one, Mario Cement Factory, 1983. Apparently it was on the Game & Watch and the Nintendo DS. Yeah, I never heard about that one. Never heard of that one either, Mario's Bombs Away. Of course, I didn't. I haven't played every single Mario game, so of course some of these games I'm not going to know about them because I never heard of them before, so yeah. Pinball 1984, obviously, Mario is... I don't think he's the star of the game, but he does make an appearance in this game, and I have to believe that's his ex-girlfriend Pauline up there as well. Looks like her. Golf 1984. And that's him, clearly, right there, about to serve the, the golf. Makes him look like a different man when he's not wearing a signature outfit. Now, this game I definitely heard about... I figured it out when I played Super Smash Bros. in the Wii U and 3DS, and this is also a stage that can also be used in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate called Wrecking Crew. Like, I was like, what is this game about? And clearly Mario's actually the star of this game, and 
him and Luigi, they're called the Wrecking Crew. So I, I think this is basically the game that tests Mario and Luigi's plumber skills, and I think, because they are plumbers, so yeah. Pretty cool stuff. And apparently it's on the Nintendo Switch as well. But yeah, I, I heard about this game, Wrecking Crew. I guess you just gotta wreck stuff. And who can ever go wrong with the classic Super Mario Bros. 1985? Who can go wrong with that? You can't ever go wrong with this game. This is the classic. This is the original. Well, not the ori Well, this is the kind of like the original Super Mario Bros. Game, you know, 1985. This is the original. This is the game that made him stand out. You know, this game kind of is what got him over, I feel like. You know, with his... With this game, and then, you know, he had the classic Mario Bros. music and all that. So, of course, you can't go wrong with the classic Super Mario Bros. game in 1985 with the original theme song. So... Of course, you definitely got to give this a big thumbs up. I played it on the uh, Game Boy Advance when it was on that game. It was pretty fun playing this old game. I got through it all, and I even replayed it, too. Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, 1986. I played a bit of that on the uh, arcade, but it wasn't this one. It was a remake version of it, but yeah. Cool stuff, though. Who can ever go wrong with a classic Super Mario Brothers versus Super Mario Brothers 1986? Apparently, it's just similar to the original game, but there are some differences, apparently, as from what they said. I think the levels are more challenging, I think, in the different versions, but I don't know. Super Mario Brothers Special 1986. Never heard of this one, but another remade version of the game. All Night Nippo. Okay. Interesting. I am a teacher, Super Mario sweater. Alright. 1986. I'm pretty sure this is like cameo appearances. Nez open. Oh, there he is. I was about to say, where's Mario? Ah, oh, yeah, Super Mario Bros. 2. This is the version of the game I did play. There are some other versions of it as well, but this is the version of the game that I played uh, before, I think. Yeah, I, I played this version, I think, before. Yeah, yeah, I did. They also had it on the Game Boy Advance as well and on the arcade, so I have played this version of it. Pretty fun. I don't usually get too far with these classic Mario games, but they're fun, you know. Oh, yeah, you can do that jump by pressing down. Little extra jump. And I played this game as well, Super Mario Bros. 3, 1988. Wait, is it? No, it's not Mario Bros. Oh, it is 3, okay. Classic stuff as well. I think it was a uh, All Star Super Mario All Stars. I think not 3D All Stars, but All Stars that contained the three game this version of the game. But you know it was remade. You know it contained Mario's more red. You know, yeah. <sighs> never mind. Super Mario Land. I have heard of this game. Never played it. Obviously, it's uh, black and white color. Doctor Mario. I have played that before. I didn't play this version of the game, though, but I did play, like, there was a game called Wario War, and they have a retrofit version of the game called Dr. Wario, and, yeah, it's basically just like you're playing the original Dr. Mario game, but, you know, it's Dr. Wario, you know, he's the doctor and everything, but anyway, cool stuff, though, Dr. Mario 1990. Dr. Mario is just another classic. Super Mario World 1990, can't go wrong with this game, either. I played this on the Game Boy Advance as well. Pretty fun. Mario the Juggler, 1991. I've never seen this one. But you can never go wrong with classic Mario games, you know. Even if you didn't grow up with them at the time, still great. Mario Teaches Typing, 1991. I did see an IGN video about the evolution of Mario, and I think they talked about this game. Super Mario Brothers and Friends, When I Grow Up, 1992. Okay. Super Mario Land 2, 6 Golden Coins. Alright. 
black and white, man. It's just even more classical, almost, just seeing things in black and white when they weren't even a color. Mario was missing, 1992. I heard of this game as well. I heard about this game. That's where the inspiration of Ouija came from. See, that's Luigi right there, but that's where they got the inspiration for that character called Ouija, which is like a uh, meme, whatever, on YouTube. Ouija. So, apparently, this is the game Mario was missing, where they got the inspiration of the design for Mario and Luigi being whatever the Mario ca character name is, but obviously, with this one, Luigi, they call him Ouija. This is where they got the inspiration from. Mario's missing. I don't even know if that's really a good game or not. I mean, I don't know. I don't hear a lot of people talk about this game, so I'm probably going to guess it wasn't that good, but... This is where the inspiration for that Ouija character came from. Super Mario Kart 1992. Of course, can't go wrong with that. This was the first Mario Kart game. Never played it, but... Original. Can't go wrong. Mario Paint 1992. I heard about this game as well when I watched that IGN video, so, yeah. It just seems like a fun painting game, you know, you would probably play in elementary school, so, pretty cool. I played, like, painting games in elementary school, so, yeah. Super Mario All-Stars. Now, this is the game I was talking about that had, like, the original Super Mario Brothers and then the Super Mario Lost Level, Super Mario Bros. 2, and Super Mario Bros. 3, but they were just all remade for this game in 1993, you know, so... Oh, yeah, and it's on the Wii as well. It is actually on the Wii as well, so I can actually buy the game if I was to want to and play all these classic Mario games that way. But I don't think I'm going to be interested, though. But that's how I played this. I played this on the arcade back when I was in Waxahachie School. This was on an arcade. That was pretty cool. Cool stuff. <sighs> Excuse me. Mario's Time Machine. Now, I think that's the version of Mario that I was talking about, where the other version of Luigi is like, you know, it, it was Ouija for a meme on YouTube, so that's the design that Mario looks like. But anyway, I never heard about this one, though. Mario's Time Machine, 1993. Oh, wow, it's got stuff about Thomas Edison, huh? Must be a learning game. Mario Wario, 1993. Haven't heard about this game. Well, it looks like you're making blocks to help Mario get up to the lead. Mario's Early Years, fun with letters. Apparently this must be another learning game. Especially when you got that commentary going on. Mario's Early Years, fun with numbers, 1994. This is basically just like learning games for elementary school kids, because you can hear the commentary of the kids as well. Early Years, preschool fun, 1994. Yeah, that's basically what this is. It's basically just a learning game, I guess, for the kids, you know? Since I played games like this in elementary school. Wario Land, Super Mario Land 3. Alright, 1994. Basically, you're playing as Wario, but I think Mario does make an appearance. Now, this game I definitely heard about. Hotel Mario 1994. This is, this is what I reacted to last year. I didn't react to the game, but I reacted to the cutscenes. Like, there's cut... There's... This game is mostly famous for its animated cutscenes. And, you know, like I said, last year when I celebrated Mario Day, I reacted to the Hotel Mario bloopers and... This is where it came from. It came from this game, Hotel Mario in 1994. This game has been considered to be one of the worst Mario games ever by many people. A lot of people said this is a bad, bad game. and it, That's what everybody says. They say this is the worst. This is one of the worst Mario games ever. And I can see why. Because basically all you're doing with Mario is you're closing doors. Like, you have to open and close doors. Like, enemies will try to open doors and you have to just close them. And that's how you just beat this whole game is you just beat the bosses and everything. Like... This game is kind of boring, and it kind of does suck. I can see why some people really do not like this. Like, this really is a bad game, because it's not... It just... It really does suck. Like, I can't even lie. Even Dashy didn't like it. I remember watching Dashy Games reacting to this, and yeah. He figured out all it was just about his closing and opening doors, and yeah, he admits that this wasn't a good game either. Everybody says this is the worst Mario game ever. Or one of the worst Mario games ever. So I don't really have anything too good to say about this game. Tetris and Dr. Mario 1994. That's a pretty cool, interesting version of the game. A cool little remake of uh, Dr. Mario. Super Mario World 2 years ago. Can't go wrong with Yoshi's Island either, even though Mario, you may not be playing as Mario, but you're giving him, gi getting him to his brother, Lu baby Luigi, in this game. You're playing as Yoshi, but still, you can't go wrong with that. Mario's Game Gallery 1995. 
Oh, is... I don't even know what this is. Apparently it looks like you're facing Mario and Checkers, or... What's this game? I missed it. Hold on. I missed the title. Or Chess, apparently it looks like you're peeing, peeing Mario and Chess. Mario's Pro Cross. Yeah, I never heard of this game, either. Like I said, I'm not gonna understand all these games, you know. Mario Super Pro Cross. Yeah, I don't know what this is, either. Like I said, of course I haven't played every single Mario game, so I'm not gonna understand all these games or know what all these games are. I was just watching the IGN video, and I just learned about this, as well. What is it called again? Hold on, let me go back. I was watching an IGN video and this game was included. Mario's Tennis, okay, 1995. Everything was in red, though. That's pretty weird. And Mario Clash, 1995. Heard about this one as well. It's just everything is, like, in a certain color. Like, you know, Mario's not decked out in red like usual, you know what I mean? It's pretty strange, but never mind. Super Mario US Power Challenge. Okay. This game I definitely heard about eventually. I remember OJ played this game, and I remember watching uh, Alex Side, my first favorite YouTuber, who's a former Brony YouTuber. He was playing this game for a little while on his channel. Yeah, Super Mario RPG, The Legend of the Seven Stars. I don't know if a lot of people really care about this game. Oh, this was also on the Wii and Wii U as well. I didn't know that. I don't know if a lot of people care about this game or not. I feel like a lot of people don't. I feel like this is another game that maybe isn't that good of a Mario game, but except there was a character named Gino who was in this game, and some people were requesting him to be a DLC character in Super Smash Bros. games, so... Apparently this game still has a bit of potential, I guess. It's pretty crazy looking animation, but... Just stop. Oh, and who can go along with Super Mario 64 in 1996? I played the remake version of it on the DS, Nintendo 3D, uh, DS, where it had, you know, Yoshi, Mario, and Luigi, but I did get to play the original one when I bought Super Mario 3D All-Stars for the Nintendo Switch, so this is how I finally got to experience the original Super Mario, uh, 64 game. And there's Mario Kart 64. It looks like fun. Mario teaches Typing 2, 1997. Another typing Mario game. Mario no photo poppy. I don't know what that means, but whatever. I like you're just making pictures, I guess. Wrecking Crew 1998, huh? Apparently they decided to remake this Wrecking Crew game, huh? I've seen that character too, that purple character. I forgot his name. Oh yeah, and who can go along with Mario Party? 1990, whatever it said. Who could go along with Mario Party? This was the first one, of course. Can't go along with Mario Party. Classic game. Mario Golf 1999 as well. The original version. Where it had some characters you don't normally see appear in the games anymore. Mario Party 2 1999. Yeah, I know they got other Mario Party games on the uh, the uh, the the Nintendo GameCube system. I might buy them because I used to play Super. I used to play Mario Party Seven at one point when I was a kid. I didn't really get too far into it because I didn't understand it, but I should probably play it some more though. Maybe maybe buy it one day. Super Mario Brothers Dulex, nineteen ninety nine. This might be the version of the game that I. Yeah, this is the version of the game that was on the uh, the Game Boy. Yeah, there it is, Game Boy. This was the version of the of the original Super Mario Brothers game that I played on the Game Boy. This is the version of it. It was on the it was on the Game Boy Advance. This was the version of the game that I got to experience this game playing it on the Game Boy Advance. This on the yeah, pretty cool. It was the Dulex version, but it still provided me the opportunity to play the original Mario game. Oh uh, yeah, Super Smash Bros. 1999, the fighting game. This is the only version of the Super Smash Bros. game that I never ever played in my whole entire life. I played every other Smash Bros. game but the very first ever one on the Nintendo 64, Super Smash Bros. for 64. This is the only version of Smash Bros. I've never ever played in my life, but I really should play it one day. I really want to, because, you know, just to see how classical it was back then, but, yep. 
of course, Mario and Luigi were in this game. And there is a classic mode version in this game, and apparently you face the Mario Brothers. And Mario Tennis in 2000. The original Mario Tennis. Paper Mario, you can't go wrong with that one as well. I remember Big Rob, my second favorite YouTuber, was playing this game for a little while on his channel, but he hasn't really posted it as of recently, but it's okay, you know. I think he's taking a little bit of a halt from playing this game and just doing a reaction, but it's alright. Mario Party 3 2000. It's pretty cool just learning and seeing how the evolution of Mario has just changed so much over the years. Dr. Mario 64 2001. Look at Wario, he's like a vampire. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, I'm back. Mario Family 2001. Yeah, I never heard of this one. Just coloring pictures, I'm guessing? Super Mario Advance 2001. I said Game Boy Advance, right? Yeah, this is the version of the Super Mario Bros. 2 game that I played, yeah. the uh, On the Game Boy Advance. Mario, Luigi, and Peach, and Toad are the character. Heck yeah! Super, Super Smash Bros. Melee 2001. Can't go wrong with that one either. This is the game that I'm currently playing on the Nintendo GameCube right now. I'm still trying to get through with all the characters in Adventure Mode. You already know it. You've already seen my videos. You know this is the game that I'm currently playing right now on my channel, trying to get through Adventure Mode with every character. And then soon when I'm done with them, I'm going to move on to another game on the Nintendo GameCube, and then I'll play some more Wii games as well. I've got quite a few gameplay videos still coming up on my channel, so once I complete Adventure Mode with all the characters here in Super Smash Bros. Melee, it won't be over just yet. But, yep, Super Smash Bros. Melee 2001 on Nintendo GameCube. Can't go wrong with that. You know, this is my childhood Smash Bros. game, and this was my favorite Nintendo GameCube game back in the days, and it still is, so... Heck yeah. Apparently, Mario's facing Metal Peach. Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2001, Game Boy Advance. This is the version of the uh, Super Mario World that I played on the uh, Game Boy Advance. Mario Kart Super Circuit 2001. I don't think I heard about this one before, but interesting to know. Oh yeah, Super Mario Sunshine actually was pretty fun. This game really had some pretty difficult levels, I will admit. Some of the levels were pretty difficult for me to get through, I will admit. I kind of did have some little ragey moments when I was playing this outside of YouTube, but... This game was overall very fun. Obviously, this was on the Nintendo GameCube. I had the game. But, when Super Mario 3D All-Stars was released, they re-uploaded this game for the Nintendo Game uh, Switch, which is pretty cool, you know? So, yeah, this game's a classic as well. It really takes Mario on a whole new environment by having him use that character named Flood. And his sleeves are different, too. He's always wearing long sleeves, but he actually has his sleeves rolled up where you see his skin arms, you know what I mean? So, Mario appears a little bit different in this game, kind of. But, yeah, Super Mario Sunshine was pretty fun. I love it. Super Mario Sunshine's a pretty fun game to play. I enjoy it. Even if some of the levels are pretty difficult, this was still a fun game to play. I enjoyed Super Mario uh, Sunshine. Mario Party 4. This is where the Mario franchise was starting to transform into, like, kind of sort of like the current generation, but never mind. Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Advance 3. This is the version of the game that I played, uh... This is the version of the Yoshi Island game that I played on Nintendo Game Boy Advance as well, as I said. So, yeah, this is how I experienced it. Mario Party 5, 2003. This one's on the GameCube. Yeah, there's a few Mario uh, a few Mario Party games that are on the GameCube that probably maybe I should buy one day, but I don't know if I will. Super Mario Advance 4, uh, what did that say? Hold on. Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Bros. 3, 2003. This game's also on the Wii. Now, I did have this game, or my brother had this game originally on the Game Boy, but sadly he lost the game, or we lost the game, so therefore I was never able to play this game ever again once it was lost. But I think I did get to play it at one point before the game was lost, and so, you know, we, we lost the game. Mario Golf Toadstool Tour 2003. Honestly, I didn't really care about this game. Like, I have this game on the GameCube, but... Honestly, I never really cared about this game. I mean, it was okay, but I honestly never really cared about this game. I never really gave a 
gave a you-know-what about this game. I never cared about it. It just isn't my type of Mario game, honestly, so I didn't really like this game that much, so I don't really care about Mario Golf too much. I will be completely honest. I don't care about this game too much. I don't think I'm a big fan of the Mario Golf games, but oh well. Mario Kart Double Dash. This is, uh, what year was it again? I'm trying to look at the years. I keep mislooking, but... Mario Kart Double Dash in... Oh, God. Sorry, I'm trying to see what the year it was when these games came out in. Mario Kart Double Dash 2003, okay? And this is on the GameCube. I do have this game as well. Pretty fun. I completed 50cc, uh, and I also completed 100cc, and I got the little special cup trophy as well. I could complete it on 150 but it's too dang hard, and it's just stressful and everything, so I can't do it, so I'm not gonna play it. I 150cc, I was just done, because it's just too hard. I just can't do it. Overall, Mario Kart Double Dash is fun. Now, I did play this game as well on the, the Game Boy, I think, yeah, the Game Boy. I did play this game as well on the Game Boy Advance. This is, uh... This is uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Sega 2003. I didn't get too far into this game, but it was a fun little game as well, I will admit. This was kind of a fun game. This was not a bad game at all. Really was not bad. It's hard to believe that character's Toadsworth, you know? I mean, he looks so different in this game, you know? So it's kind of hard to believe that's really Toadsworth. Now, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door... I was playing that game for a little bit of a while on the Nintendo GameCube, but some of the levels are getting difficult, even though I'm still at the very, very beginning, but levels just keep getting more and more difficult, so I took a hot break from it, so I'm kind of taking a hiatus from playing this game. I don't know if I'll play it again or not, but if I do, and if the levels just get too difficult for me, I'm just not going to play this game anymore, because, you know, I can't handle stuff that are too rageable for me, you know? But Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door 2004, it was, it's alright, it's not a bad game, you know? This would probably have to be my favorite version of the Paper Mario franchise games, honestly, because every other version of it I never really cared for. I have this game on the GameCube as well, Mario Power Tennis 2004. They did remake, they did, they did re-put this game on the Wii, they put this game on the Wii after then, I don't remember what year it was, but they did decide to remake this game into the Wii system a little bit later on, so, you know, they... Because sometimes in certain games, they decide to remake them, but, you know, put them on a different system. So, this was originally on the GameCube, and they eventually, you know, they made it into the Wii. I used to try the Wii version, but it turns out the Wii version isn't, isn't as entertaining as the GameCube, especially when I'm trying to swing the ball and everything. It, if you've seen my video of me trying to do the painting thing, you know, when I made a video of me playing Mario Power Tennis doing the painting, I was raging because I was having such a hard time trying to aim the Wii Remote in a certain direction. It's easier doing it with the GameCube controller, so... If I do decide to play Mario Power Tennis on the GameCube, I should have better luck with that. Even though it was still difficult even back in the early days as well, but it should be better to control. Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2004. Never heard this game. Mario Golf Advanced Tour 2004. i never seen this version of the Mario Golf game, but it kind of looks like it'd be on a DS or something. Super Mario Ball 2004. Never seen this before, but I have to believe that's probably where I got that ball came from, because I actually have a Mario Ball. I still got it. It came on the it came in the McDonald's Happy Meal at one point for the Mario stuff, and I have a Mario Ball, and I'm probably going to guess that's where they got the inspiration from from that game, now that I'm thinking about it. I have to believe that's where the inspiration came from. Super Mario 64 for the DS. Yep, this is the remade version of the DS. This is the DS, the remade version of the Super Mario 64 game. Honestly, I think this version of it's better than the, uh... I honestly think this version of it's better than the, uh, original one, honestly. Because it's cool, you get to play as Luigi and Mario and Yoshi. Which Mario Party was this? I, I, I didn't miss it. I missed it. Wh which version of Mario Party was this? Oh, Mario Party 6, 2004, okay. Mario Party's always a classic, you know, you can't ever go wrong with Mario Party, you know. Mario Superstar Baseball, pretty fun. Well, I mean, it is fun, but turns out I don't like it as much compared to Super Mario Super Sluggers, which is this picture frame that I got back here. 
There's two different versions of the Mario Baseball game. There's this one, Mario Superstar Baseball 2005 on the GameCube, and then they made one for the Wii game called Super Mario Super Sluggers. Honestly, I love Super Mario, uh, Mario Super Sluggers better than this one, Mario Superstar Baseball. When I tried to play this game on the GameCube, it was just difficult. Like, I couldn't win a baseball game because I just can't play it the same like I used to as a kid. Even as a kid, I was never really that good at it, so I gave up on it. So I like Mario Super Sluggers better. It's much more entertaining than this one. The story mode is more entertaining as well. Uh, Mario Super Sluggers for the Wii than this one right here. Mario Superstar Baseball for the GameCube. That's my better go-to version of the baseball game. God dang it, I keep missing the titles. God, I gotta qu quit yapping and just... <sighs> Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix 2005. Okay, this is another GameCube game. Not familiar with that. Now, Mario Kart DS in 2005 for the Nintendo DS, it wasn't a bad game to play either. That wasn't a bad game to play. It was actually not bad. It was pretty fun as well. I didn't really get to play that game too much as a kid, but I played it at least enough that it wasn't a bad game. It was pretty entertaining to play. Now, this is the Mario Party game I want to buy on the GameCube again. Well, I never had it as a kid, but I used to rent it in certain video game stores back in the days. This was Mario Party 7 2005. This is... I used to rent this game a few times. I never really got too far or played it that much, but this was a fun game as well. I probably should play this again one day. I might need to buy, I might want to buy this game and maybe try playing it again to see how good it was back then, you know? But I kind of did enjoy it a couple times as a kid. It's not as good compared to some of the more current games, but yeah. Now, I do remember this game as well, Super Mario Strikers in 2005. I did rent this game once before, too. I didn't really play it that much because I didn't find it as entertaining, but I did also purchase, I did also rent the uh, Wii version of it called Mario Super, Super Slug, uh, Mario Strikers Charge, Mario Strikers Charge is what it was called on the Wii version. Honestly, I think the Wii version was better, honestly, than this one. I mean, it's still entertaining, I'm pretty sure this one is, this original one, Super Mario Strikers, was still entertaining on the GameCube in 2005, but honestly, I think the Wii version's Mario Strikers Charge is probably more entertaining, I feel like. Like, it just depends on which game I played more of, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have mixed opinions about, like, certain Mario games or some remade versions of certain ones, you know what I'm saying? Mario Party Advance 2005. Oh, is this for the, uh... Hold on, is this for the DS? Or no? No, this is Game Boy Advance. Never mind. This is not the version I was thinking of. Nah, it's Mario Party DS is what I'm thinking of. Sorry, sorry. I got a control. But I definitely never heard of this Mario Party game before. It's on the Game Boy Advance and something else. Well, another remade version of Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario and Puzzle League. There's another, another remade version of Dr. Mario. Mario and Luigi Partners in Time 2005, Nintendo DS, and Wii U. Now, this game I definitely never heard of. I know they had other versions of, the, of these Mario and Luigi games, but, you know, I only played the Sega, uh, Superstar Sega from the Game Boy Advance. Now, Super, now, New Super Mario Bros. in 2006 for the Nintendo DS. That was actually not a bad game, either. I actually used to play that. I used to have quite a few fun playing this game on the Nintendo DS. This was not a bad game, either. This was kind of an entertaining game. Never completed it, though, but this was an entertaining game to play, I will admit. I like this game. It's not bad. Pretty fun. Mario Hoops 3-on-3, 3 3, 2006. Nintendo DS. Well, now I know where they got the idea of Mario Basketball from, for Mario Sports Mix. What's this one? Mario vs. Donkey Kong 2, March of the Minis, 2006, Nintendo DS. Okay, this one I definitely never heard of, either. Yeah, definitely not familiar with that. Super Paper Mario in 2007 for the Wii U. And the Wii U. But, yeah, this one I didn't really care about. When I played this one, I didn't really care about it as much. The GameCube version of it, the Thousand Year Door, is just my go-to version of the Mar Paper Mario game. Now, this is the one I was talking about. Mario Strikers Charge 2007 for the Wii. This, to me, was the better version of the Mario soccer game than the one on the GameCube. I like this one a lot better. Even though I didn't play it that much, but I thought this one was better, honestly. I think this was the better Mario soccer game, in my opinion. I like this one better. This was better, in my opinion. Mario Party 8 2007. Now, this game was lots of fun. Mario Party 8 2007 for the Wii. This was a fun Mario Party game. I love this one. 
I have the game, but unfortunately the disc just messed up, so I can't play it anymore, and I used to have to buy a different disc. Like, my original disc was messed up, and so I bought another one, and then that's how I got to play it again, but like I said, the disc, it's, it's just such an old game, whatever, so I can't play the game anymore, so, yeah, I, it sucks because I really love this game, but like I said, because I have to go through so many discs, whatever, because it's such an old game, it's just, I just don't want to keep buying it anymore, but... Mario Party 8 in 2007 for the Wii was such a fun game. I completed story mode, I unlocked Blooper and Hammer Bro and everything. This was a fun Mario Party game. I love this one. Mario Party 8 was a definite fun game. I really love Mario Party 8 a lot. This was a definite fun Mario Party game. I like this one a lot. Mario Party 8 was great. Up oh, and here comes the very first Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games in 2007 for the Wii and Nintendo 3D. I mean, Nintendo DS. I don't even know which version is better, the Nintendo DS version or the Wii one. Probably the Wii version, but I didn't really play it as much because I didn't seem to find it as entertaining as I did on Nintendo DS. It was just because back then I was more used to DS stuff, whatever, so when I played this for the Wii, I didn't find it as entertaining as, as the DS one, but I'm sure the Wii version is better, though. It's better than the DS. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure of it. But this was the first Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games book. Now, Super Mario Galaxy in 2007 for the Wii. God, apparently it was on the Wii U as well. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, now I get it. Oh, yeah, because you could play it on the Wii U. That's why it says Wii U. Now I get it. Because, yeah, on the Wii U, you could play this. You could play Wii games. That's why it's saying Wii U. I was like, I, knew, I don't remember it uploading on the Wii U, but I get it because that's what I do. That's what I do. I play Wii games on the Wii U. That's how I do it nowadays. A lot of Wii games that I own, I play them on the Wii U. That's how I play them. So, yeah, I get it now. I get it why it's saying Wii U, because you can play them on the Wii system, that's why. But Super Mario Galaxy, though, was a very fun game. This was definitely a top-notch game. The world definitely did seem like it was buzzing about this game when it was becoming popular back then, but Super Mario Galaxy was a very fun game, and I enjoyed replaying it when I bought Super Mario 3D All-Stars, and I completed it, and then went through the other version of it, where you could play as Luigi, and then got the final uh, stars for the... World you start out in when you first play the game, and then you know I got an email or message, whatever, where it showed me picture of the completion congratulation screen when you completed with both Mario and Luigi. So, but Super Mario Galaxy, whatever, that, that was very fun. I love that one. Now Mario Party DS in 2007 was a fun game for me to play back in the days as well. This was the one that I thought the Mario Super Mario Advance one Party Advance one was, but I was wrong. Mario Party Advance, I thought this was the game, but no, nah, it's not it. It's Mario Party DS 2007, but on the Nintendo DS, though, Mario Party DS was very fun for me back in the days. I used to really enjoy playing this game as a kid back then. I almost completed the game, but I just could never defeat Bowser. He was the only guy I just could not beat in the story mode, but this was an entertaining game back then. Dr. Mario Online Rex 2008 Wii. I think it's for those Wii games that you can play online, I'm guessing. I'm probably just guessing, I don't know. Now, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Can't go wrong with that. Super Smash Bros. Brawl for the Wii in 2008. Very fun game. Love that game. The Subspace Emissary Adventure mode for that game is lots of fun. I enjoy playing it. It's just entertaining as heck, so... Of course, you know, I gotta put this game up there because, you know, it was entertaining just having the Subspace Emissary Adventure mode. Even Classic mode and All-Star mode was fun as well, but I feel like the the Subspace Emissary Adventure mode is what makes this game stand out the most. Super, Mar Super Smash Bros. Brawl for the Wii in 2008. I feel like that's what makes this game stand out the most is the Subspace Emissary Adventure mode. I love that little adventure mode. I love it. I do have a copy of this game, but sadly the disc is recently mess messing up, so I can't play the game right now, so I'm probably gonna have to most likely get another disc of this game like it's so old and even though it's so old i still was able to play it but sadly it's finally showing its colors now and i can't play it anymore so more likely chances or not i'm gonna have to get another copy i don't know if i will though but i feel like i want to just because i miss playing this game and i really love to play the subspace emissary adventure mode not for my youtube channel but just outside of youtube because i really love the subspace emissary adventure mode a heck of a lot it's very fun to play I love it. I played the Subspace Emissary Adventure mode twice on my YouTube channel. I did two different. I did two gameplays of me playing that on my YouTube channel. I did the first one and then I did it again. Now Mario Kart Wii was also a fun game in 2008 as well. I enjoyed playing this game back in the days as well. Mario Kart Wii was lots of fun. Mario Kart Wii was a fun game. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Super Mario Super Sluggers in 2008. 
I thought this was the better Mario Baseball game than the Mario Superstars Baseball that was released on the GameCube. I like this one a lot better than the GameCube version. This version of it that's on the Wii, I like this one a heck of a lot better. It's a much better Mario uh, Baseball game in my opinion. Even the Adventure Mode, the little Story Mode is a lot more fun as well. But this one on the Wii was definitely a fun one. I love this one a lot. I really love this version of the game a lot. I really do. This is the better one. Oh, yeah, and Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. Beautiful. This is my favorite version of the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games franchise games. This is my favorite version of it right here. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games 2009. And apparently you can play it in the Nintendo DS as well, but obviously I played the Wii version. Even if I had a Nintendo DS, I'm sure it wouldn't have been as entertaining as the Wii version. The Wii version is much better. Especially the festival mode. The festival mode is lots of fun as well, playing it on single and team mode. I love it. I love this game. Once again, this is my favorite version of the Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Game franchise series, you know, out of all the games they made. And Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games is probably my second favorite version of the Mario and Sonic Olympic Game franchise, you know what I'm saying? But this is my favorite one. I love the festival mode. I played the festival mode, singles, and team mode twice on my channel before, too. Now, New Super Mario Bros. for the Wii in 2009 was another fun game as well. And apparently this was also on Nintendo DS as well, but... Obviously, I didn't play it then. I didn't even know you could play this on Nintendo DS, but it doesn't matter. But this is a fun one as well. This was a fun game as well. Mar Super New Super Mario Bros. for the Wii in 2009 was lots of fun to play. It took me quite a few times for me to finally complete it, but I eventually finally did, and it was just fun. This was a fun game. I enjoy this one. I do like the new Super Mario Bros. for the Wii game. This is a fun new Super Mario Bros. game, you know? I like this game. This is Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story 2009, which had a DS. Not familiar with this at all, but... Alright. Oh right, yeah, Super Mario Galaxy 2 was just as fun as the first one as well. Of course, you gotta put Super Mario Galaxy 2 in 2010 as well up there. You gotta put it in there as well. Like I said, if the first... If the first... If the first Super Mario Galaxy was just as entertaining and just as fun, then of course Super Mario Galaxy 2 was just as entertaining as well from 2010. I don't even know which version I like better. I don't know if I like the first one better or the second one better. Because they're both equally as great. I ha I've completed the first Mario Galaxy game. Thanks for me getting Super Mario uh, 3D All-Stars for the Nintendo Switch. But I haven't completed Super Mario Galaxy 2 yet, though. And probably may never will. Even if I do decide to buy a version of it. Even if I just decide to buy a copy of this game. But I don't know. But this was an entertaining game as well. It's just as entertaining as the first Super Mario Galaxy game. Mario vs. Donkey Kong Mini Land Mayhem. I think I saw this copy of the game in Family Video, because that version of Mario does look familiar, so I think I saw a copy. Mario Sports Mix was not a bad game either. Mario Sports Mix for the Wii was pretty fun as well. My favorite sports to play in this game is the dodgeball. Basketball and ice hockey and volleyball were alright too, but I like dodgeball because I love dodgeball in real life, so of course I like the dodgeball sport best to play. New Super Mario Bros. Wii Coin World 2011. Okay, I never heard of this one. This must be an arcade version of it or something. New S now, Super Mario 3D Land. Obviously, I never played this game. Well, actually, they did used to have the Nintendo 3DSs out. I think this is Nintendo 3DS, I think. Yeah, Nintendo 3DS. Uh, They had Nintendo 3DSs in Target and Waxahachie at one point, and they actually had this game available for you to play. So I got to try this game out, actually. and It was pretty fun, but... I like Super Mario 3D World better. I think Super Mario 3D World is more better than this game right here. I like Super Mario 3D World better than Super Mario 3D Land. I mean, Super Mario 3D Land's fun too, but Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U was definitely much more entertaining and much more fun than this game. I'm not saying this one sucked, it's just Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U was just the better game. And it's even cool that they put it on the Nintendo Switch as well and remade it for the Nintendo Switch. And then you also have the newer game, Bowser's Fury, that was pretty cool as well. This is my second favorite Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, as I said. Mario and Sonic at the London 2012 Olympic Games. This is my second favorite version of the Mario and Sonic Olympic Game franchise series. I never played Mario Kart 7 in 2011, but it does look like it's a fun game, though, too. I think I saw some of my friends in Waxahachie School plays. Mario Party 9 is fun as well. You know what? 
I have to say, I think I still think Mario Party... I think I still believe that Mario Party 8 is probably my favorite version of the Mario Party games, but if I chose a second favorite, it's definitely this one. I think Mario Party 9 would have to be my second favorite version of this game. Of the Mario Party franchise games, but 2012 on the Wii. This was a fun game as well. I love this game as well. Mario Tennis Open 2002 for the Nintendo 3DS. Never heard of this game. It kind of just seems like it's the GameCube, but it's just remade. New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 2000, 2012 for the Nintendo 3DS. Never played this game either, but I do know there is like a gold mushroom you can get in this game, so this is what made it stand out. But it does look like it was fun though, too. I never played it, but I could play it if I was to. Paper Mario Sticker Star 2012 Nintendo 3DS. Never played this either. It does look fun though, too. Even though I don't think I'll ever play it, but fun. New Super Mario Brothers Wii. Now, New Super Mario Brothers for the now New Super Mario Brothers U was pretty fun. I actually did complete this game. I think I did complete it. Yeah, I rented this game on the Wii U and I did complete it. Yeah, New Super Mario Brothers U in 2012 was a fun game as well. It was a fun game for the Wii U, and this game was remade in Nintendo Switch as well. It was Nintendo uh, for the Nintendo Switch version. They called it Dulex. And Toadette's actually a character when you turn into Peachette, you know, which... Some people have mixed opinions on that, but, yeah. But that was a good game as well. Mario Luigi Dream Team 2013. Never heard of this one. Or maybe I have, but I just don't remember it. So, obviously, I never played this. Mario and Donkey Kong Minis on the Moon. Never heard of this game either. I don't know what this one is. This game was fun. Now, this is what I was talking about earlier when they talked about the uh, the Super Mario 3D Land. This one was better, in my opinion. Super Mario 3D World in 2013 from the Nintendo... Well, it says 3DS, but it was really on the Wii U, but it doesn't matter. We The Wii U version of this game, New Super Mario 3D World, was much better than Super Mario 3D Land, in my honest opinion. This was a better game, and it was good that they re they made it on. It was cool that they put it on the Wii U and then they remade it on the Nintendo Switch. That was pretty cool. This game actually came with me when I bought the Wii U for Christmas in 2015. When my parents had enough money to buy me a Wii U for Christmas in 2015, this game was already available in it. So you know, it was one of those special Wii U Wii U systems to where you know a game would already be available in there, and you know you don't have to buy a copy of the game to play it. It'll already be installed with the system and. Super Mario 3D World was already installed in it, and so was Nintendo Land, so that was pretty cool, you know. These were the first, those were the first two games I played when I first got the Wii U, and then eventually I bought Super Smash Bros. Uh, Wii U, and, you know, I played that as well, which that was an entertaining game as well. I like that better than the 3DS version. I got, just like Super Mario 3D Land, I got a chance to try out the 3DS version of Super Smash Bros. 4, and it was fun as well, but, like I said, I still think the Wii U version was better as well for Super Smash Bros. 4 for both the 3DS and Wii U. Wii U version was much better. I always got strong opinions about certain things, you know, so, I just had to be honest. Mario Sonic at the Sochi 2015 I don't think I ever played this game, I don't think, but it does look like it's fun, even though I don't probably think it's as good as the ones that I like, but... It looks like it'd be fun in some ways, you know? Mario Party Island Tour 2013, Nintendo 3DS. Never heard of this game. Never have. Mario Golf World Tour 2014. Never heard of this either. Like I said, I'm not really a big fan of the Mario Golf games, so I don't care too much about them. Now, Mario Kart 8. Now... The, the Nintendo Switch version of it, the Dulex version of it on the Nintendo Switch is much better than the original one on the Wii U, but Mario Kart 8 is definitely lots of fun. This is the game that people are still currently playing on to this day right now, but they're playing the Nintendo Switch version of it more than the Wii U version. When it first started on the Wii U, I'm pretty sure this was a big hit of a game on the Wii U, but when they remade it into the Nintendo Switch as the Dulex version and they had all the DLC characters available, people were really loving the Nintendo Switch version better because, you know, you double the items and you have all the DLC characters available for you and stuff. So, you know what? I do love the Nintendo Switch version better than the Wii U version, but this is still a fun game either way. Now, Mario Kart 8, 8 is still a fun game. And I did hear rumors they're probably making Mario Kart 9. I don't know if it's coming true, but I did hear some rumors they're probably making Mario Kart 9. 
I don't know if that's true or not, but... And I was just talking about this game, Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U in 2014. Like I said, there was two different versions of it, but I thought the Wii U version was the better version than Nintendo DS. I'm pretty sure the Nintendo DS version was fun too, but I think the Wii U version was just the better version. I really definitely thought this was more entertaining when I got to try the Wii U version of it for the first time after when I tried out the, the Nintendo 3DS when it was in Target. I never played Mario Party 10 on 2000. Actually, no, 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 actually, I'm lying. I think I have, actually. I just don't remember, but, yeah. I think I did play it, because it is on the Wii U. Yeah, Marty, Mario Party 10 for the Wii U in 2015. Yeah, I did play this game. This was not a bad game, honestly. Mario Party 10 in 2015 for the Wii U was not a bad game to play. It was kind of entertaining as well. Like I said, it was pretty cool. You could play as either the Mario characters, or you can even play as Bowser and try to screw them up, but this was not a bad game to play. It was not bad at all. It really was not bad at all. Pretty entertaining as well. I give it credit. <sighs> Excuse me. Marvel's Donkey Kong Tipping Star, so 15 Wii U. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this game, of course, as I said, so I'm not gonna know what this is. Dr. Mario Miracle Core 2015 Nintendo 3DS. Another version of a Dr. Mario game. Apparently, they remake a lot of Dr. Mario games. Oh, yeah, Super Mario Maker. You can't go wrong with Super Mario Maker. This game really brings out the worst in people. Like, people be raging over this game. But Super Mario Maker, when this was uploaded in 2015 on the Wii U, yeah, this game was definitely going crazy for a lot of people. But Super Mario Maker was definitely pretty fun. I mean, I don't have the internet to be able to play people's stages online, so I only played, like, stages it was given me. But this was... Definitely one heck of a game that, you know, definitely brings out the worst of people. Honestly, it's more entertaining to watch YouTubers play it than to play it yourself, honestly, in my opinion. But it's really entertaining watching YouTubers play, especially like Dashy Games or even from last year. Like I said, last year when I celebrated last year's Mario Mario Day, I reacted to YouTubers playing Super Mario Maker. Markiplier was on there and others, but yeah. Mario Tennis Ultra Smash 2015 for the Wii U. Now, I did see this copy of the game on Family Video, but I never rented it because I was just not interested, honestly. I'm kind of not really too much interested in, like, the current Mario Tennis games, but it's alright. Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. I heard of this game, but, yeah, I don't really care. It does look like fun. Oh yeah, that's the one where uh, yeah, that's the one where Paper Mario's in the game. Yeah, that's the crossover one where Paper Mario is in the game. Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. I don't know if I played this. I think I did play this version of the game once on Wii U, but I didn't find it as entertaining, so I just quit playing it. But that's okay. Like, there's just certain games I like, and then there's some that I just don't find as entertaining, and I like some of the other previous versions of the games better. You know what I'm saying? Mini Mario and Friends Amiibo Challenge 2016. I don't think I've ever heard this game. Paper Mario Color Splash 2016 for the Wii. I heard of this game as well, but still, could, ser could seriously care less, and I don't know if I really would ever play this. Like I said, some of these games that I used to play on the GameCube, I just don't find them as entertaining. Mario Party Star Rush 2016 on Nintendo 3DS. Now, never played this game, obviously, and I'm probably never going to, but it's okay. But it looks like fun. Now, I heard of this game, Super Mario Run on the Android or the iOS. This is a get mobile game. I never played this, and I've never downloaded it, but I'm probably never going to, but it looks like it could give out some good memories. Mario Sports Superstar 2017. Yeah, I don't care about that. Like I said earlier, I never really cared about the Mario Golf games. I didn't like the Nintendo GameCube version, and you know, so I'm not a big fan of these. Mario Plus. Now, this game I'm probably going to think about getting one day on the Nintendo Switch. I don't know when I will, but I probably will buy this game one day and play it. Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle 2017 Nintendo Switch. This does look like a fun game since it's crossing paths with the Mario characters and the Rabbit characters. So this does look like a fun game. This game I plan on buying as well, Super Mario Odyssey in 2017 for the Nintendo Switch. This was a fun game for people as well. I see, it seems like a lot of people really enjoy playing this game as well, but I will definitely buy this game one day and play it. This does look like a very fun game as well. I probably I will definitely buy this game one day and play it. 
This will probably be one of my next fewest of Nintendo Switch games I'll buy and play, you know what I'm saying? But this does look like a lot of fun. Just the fact you got Cappy just helping you transform into certain objects, pretty cool. This really does look like it'd be a very entertaining game to play, so you know what, I gotta try this one day. Now, Mario Tennis Ace, Aces in 2018, never really cared about this, because like I said, I don't really care too much about the Mario Tennis games, but, yeah, so I'm never gonna play that. Now, it's new now, Super Mario Party, Super Mario Party on the Nintendo Switch is definitely a fun game as well. I do love Super Mario Party. I didn't start playing it until, like, I started buying the game, like, in 2020, I think. Yeah, 2020 is when I think I bought the game. Oh, no, 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 it was last year, it was last year, excuse me, no, it was last year when I bought this game for the first time. But it was an entertaining game as well. Super Mario Party was a very fun game. I enjoyed playing this game when I bought it for Christmas, when I got this as my Christmas gift in uh, 2021's Christmas. I bought the, I had this game and another game for the Nintendo Switch, and this was a fun game. Super Mario Party is actually very fun. I like Super Mario Party. And they do have a current Mario game called Mario Party Superstars, I think, that's on the Nintendo Switch as well. I'm going to get that game one day, too. Heck yeah. You can't go wrong with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is everybody's favorite version of the Super Smash Bros. franchise games. And this is obviously my favorite version of it as well. When this game was coming out in 2018 on the Nintendo Switch, I was just going crazy over this. And I really wanted to play this game so bad. Like, after when they showed all the characters from previous Smash Bros. games were all coming back, this game was just buzzing people all over the world, and people were going mad crazy over this game. And, you know, some people that weren't even interested in buying the Nintendo Switch just really wanted to buy the Switch just so they could play this game. And this is really the only reason why I wanted the Nintendo Switch, just so I could play this game. And when I finally got one for Christmas and got the game with it, it was in 2020 when I got the Switch and the game, and my god, I was just playing the heck out of this game non-stop, and I even brought it to school and started playing with people. Like, I played with people from other Switches before I got my home, but this is how it worked, you know? I was just constantly playing people with this game, and it was just so much fun. Like, I love this game. This is my favorite Smash Bros. game without a doubt. This is my number one favorite game in the world, honestly. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is my number one favorite game in the world right now. And you probably may have saw my YouTube channel. I played the, uh, the... The, uh, the Spirit World thing. It's a Adventure Mode. Yeah, the World of Light. World of Light Adventure Mode. I played the World of Light Adventure Mode. That was a fun little game as well. The fun little Adventure Mode. I'm probably going to play it again one day on my channel, probably, too. Now, Super Mario Maker 2 in 2019. I do remember when I heard the announcement this game was coming out. Pretty sure it's got to be just as, you know, aggravating for people as the first one was. So, you know, it's got to be just as rageable if you were to play this game. New Super Mario Bros. Wii U Dulex. Yep, this is the version of the Super of the new Super Mario Bros. Wii that was originally on the Wii U. This was remade into the Nintendo Switch, and it was called Wii U Dulex. And it features Toadette in this game, which she wasn't a playable character in the original one. And, you know, she turns into Peachette, which really is very strange, honestly, but it doesn't matter. But I'm sure this one's got to be just as fun as the original Wii Brothers Wii game, you know, Wii U game. This should be fun as well if I do decide to get it. Dr. Mario World 2019 on the Android iOS. I think I saw a few people playing this game before, but it does look like it's fun, but still, overall, I'm not that interested. Now, this is another Android game as well, Mario Kart Tour 2019. I tried to download this game and play it, but it cost some, like, money or, like, membership, whatever, to play it, so I couldn't do it. I forgot about this game, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, to the Tokyo 2020 2019 Nintendo Switch and Android game. I forgot about this game. This is a game that's on the Nintendo Switch. I don't know if I'm ever going to play this, honestly. I feel like I could buy this game one day if I do, but I'm not sure if I'm going to, honestly. I don't know if I really care about this game, honestly, but that's alright if I don't decide to get it. But maybe I might buy this game. Maybe. I'm, I'm not 100% sure if I will, but maybe I could. I just say maybe. Maybe is always at least good enough. Now, Paper Mario the Origami King. This is the current Paper Mario game that's on the Nintendo Switch right now. Paper Mario the Origami King in 2020. Or 2020, basically. I did hear about this game coming out. You know, some people probably don't know what the word origami means, but I know what the word origami meant when this game came out. Origami is like a paper folder person, you know, when you make something out of paper. So, of course, I know what the word origami means when this game was released, and it was titled Paper Mario the Origami King. I could play this game one day on the Nintendo Switch, but I'm not sure if I will or not, because, I don't know, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just not really that interested. 
I don't know if so. I don't know if I will play this game or whatnot. Probably might not, but yeah, it doesn't matter. But it does look like a fun game overall, though, so maybe I might. Super Mario's 35. Super Mario Bros. 35 2020. What system is this on? What system is this on? Tail Switch. Oh, it's like a Super Mario Bros. game, but you're competing with people online, and whatever you do causes the other players to have objects getting in their way, kind of. This game was fun as well. Both versions of the game. Super Mario 3D World being remade into the Nintendo Switch was just as fun as playing it originally on the Wii U. And Bowser's Fury was also a pretty fun new game that they added in 2021 when this game was being released. Ba Bowser's Fury was pretty awesome as well. I'm not gonna lie. Bowser's Fury was pretty entertaining. I like Bowser's Fury. It was pretty entertaining. Pretty fun stuff, Bowser's Fury. It's really cool just seeing how powerful Bowser and then, you know, you have to click bells and whatever to stop him, whatever. And that was the last game, because that was technically the last Mario but the Mar last Mario game that was uploaded. Well, not really, but S Mario Party Superstars was probably the last Mario game that they made recently. But I will get that game one day for the Nintendo Switch. But that covers it all, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, this was a long, long list. That was definitely going to take a lot. Now, I knew this was, this was probably going to be an hour-long video, because I had some discussions in certain videos and everything. So I knew this was probably going to take some time to finish, but yeah. This was a long, long list, without a doubt. God, this was such a big list, but yeah. So that's the evolution of Mario, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty fun stuff. I enjoyed it. Always great to see Mario. You know, classic video game character. He'll never get old, no matter what generation it is. He'll never, ever get old. Like, Mario will never get old. He's Mr. Video Game himself, you know? He's the franchise Nintendo. And seriously, Nintendo wouldn't be the same without him. Also, if you haven't seen Nintendo Directs later in 2022 this year, in December, they are going to release a Mario movie. There's a Mario movie that's going to be released, and people are just dying and laughing the butts off of the Mario cast and everything. Like, people are just dying over it. Like, I've seen people just been laughing like crazy over the Mario cast. Like, they just think it's hilarious, because basically, Chris Pratt is going to be Mario, and then Charlie Day's Luigi, and your, ta and your Taylor Joy is Peach, and uh, Jack Black is Bowser, and... A comedian named Keegan Michael T Key is Toad, and Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. A few other casts like Kevin Michael Richardson's the Kamek, whatever his name is, the the Magic Koopa, and Spike's gonna be in there, and so is uh, Iggy, I think. I, I don't know. I don't remember everybody, but I know there's gonna be a few of the cast. People are just laughing over the cast, you know. But hopefully it'll be a good movie because everybody did not like the original live action Super Mario Bros movie that was made back in the 19s whatever it was when that movie came out but they made a live action Mario Bros movie and yeah people did not like that movie at all cuz it didn't really revolve anything around the video games at all so i can understand but you know i mean i thought it was okay but yeah i didn't like it that much either so hopefully this movie and it is going to be animated. This Mario, this Mario movie that's going to be coming out in 2022 later this year in December, it's going to be animated. So hopefully this animated Mario movie will be much better than the live action one. I'm hoping for the best. I don't mind the cast, even though most people think it's hilarious and some people may not like Chris Pratt being Mario and stuff. But I'm, I think it's going to be a better movie. I'm having hopes that it's going to be a much better Mario movie than the live action one was. So praise to hope that'll be a good movie because I do want to go see it in theaters when it does come out later in December. I'm already going to go see Sonic the Hedgehog 2 when that comes out. I think it's going to be out next month, if I'm not mistaken. So, hopefully, if I have enough money by then, I'll get to go see it in theaters and stuff like that. But anyway, that's the evolution of Mario, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this hour-long video. Always great to look back at the evolution of Mario. Well, I mean, i never seen this video before until just now, but that's a great way of looking through the history of Mario. Pretty entertaining, so... I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for celebrating Mario Day with me today by watching this video, so... Even though I could make some more videos to celebrate Mario Day, but I don't know if there's really any other videos I might be able to check out or whatnot. Or actually, there is, but... Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll make another video after this one, but anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I love it. Pretty fun stuff, you know? It's, it's great. Great stuff. This was a great video. I'm, I'm like, this was definitely a great video to watch, just looking at the evolution. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Evolution of Super Mario, every game in 1981 to 2020, 21. To the, no, 2021, pretty good stuff. 
quite a lot of history, and who knows, we're probably gonna see some more games featuring Mario in the near future, so stay tuned for that, because I'm pretty sure they're still gonna be making more Mario games one day in the near future, because they kind of still are, they made Mario Party Superstars, so... Obviously, it's gonna be a long, long time before we'll have to say sayonara to Mario in his video games, but anyway... I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. That'll be it for today, guys. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. Just like to give the thumbs down. Join me next time in the next video. To all you boys, men, and guys out there. I mean, actually, no, I can do this now. Fist bumps go to all of you and to all the girls, ladies, and women out there. Kiss Scott to all of you. Also, be sure to share this video with all your friends. And if you even like to, you can leave a comment down below and even start a conversation on what's your favorite Mario game if you like. You can even tell me that as well. What's your favorite Mario game? But anyway, until then, this is Joe Flash signing off, and have a good day.